What's up everyone? Today we're going to be working on the 72 satellite. We have a lot to do and only about three weeks to do it. So tick tock, right? Pitter patter, get at her. We, uh, we did go ahead and snag that really awesome K frame out of the Roadrunner, which after Muscle Palooza, we will transplant that into the satellite because sway bar. We got quite a bit that needs to still be done, but as you notice, I was able to snag the headlights only thing that was left on the front of the, the Roadrunner, which is great, because I needed a set of those. Yeah! Uh, as you can see, started putting the, the engine back together. I showed you that the other day. I am going to start putting everything, all the, the peripheral stuff, the radiator and everything in, so that we can crank this over as soon as we get the bell housing and stuff on. Well, maybe not as soon as, because that's going to be today. Um, one big thing is a huge shout out to Roland. He hooked us up with his, uh, his old Roadrunner exhaust, which includes machine gun tips, which is great. You don't have to worry about the exhaust going back inside. And you know, that's always not good for you. So, so as you can see, I did pull the side pipes off. And uh, not that I didn't like the look of the side pipes, but boy, these things are nice. All right, so now we have to go ahead, pop the flex plate off and uh, get the uh, the clutch and everything, the flywheel, the clutch and the belt housing on. And then we need to uh, finish up with the, the transmission and uh, get that landed in here so we can start working on the Z-Bar stuff. The two big things, of course, I'm still looking for is the pedal assembly and a, a her shift kit. It'd be nice to get new linkages as well. So uh, my eyes are out for them, but it's probably going to be very unlikely I find one at a salvage yard, but hey, I guess you never know. So, all right, let me get to work and get the flex plate pulled off and start moving forward. Well, guys, I just wanted to do a little bit of tee hee and uh, see how it turned out. And look at that, guys. We have a set of, uh, well, we have one of, one of the machine gun exhausts on it. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like with the 318. Now, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, the pipes that we got, or the exhaust we got, tad bit too short but as you can see uh, you know all we really have to do is just add four or five inches to the collector which all we'll do is we'll just take a piece of three inch pipe off of the old uh, or three inch tube off of our old exhaust and just weld another bracket so it's just a uh, an extension of it and that will do just fine we don't have to cut anything up and uh, it's almost like extending the headers which is you know a little bit extra power maybe well, uh, yeah, this is cool. I, I'm so excited about this. Again, thank you, Roland. This is going to be awesome. All right, now let's take that flywheel off. Flywheel. Flex plate. We got to put the flywheel on. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh. <laughs> ah. As you can tell, it's a bit tight in here, but I do have a, a sunroof, so I guess there's that. We get some fresh air through there, uh, you know, you have to worry about Fred Flintstone every so often, step on your face. But other than that, not a big deal. <laughs> that was, I don't even know what that was. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, geez. Yay! We got this in which is awesome. That means we can move along to the uh, actual transmission uh, bell housing and get this all cinched up. Once that's there, then we can go ahead and hopefully get the transmission sorted out in the next couple days. And uh, I'll be back out here using my nice comfortable pillow here. Um, get the transmission slid into place. So bell housing tonight, if I can find the bolts for it, they're round. They are round, aren't they? They're long and round, I suppose. Oh, I've been under this car for a bit too long today. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. But I'm so excited about this, guys. Look at that. The engine's not in straight right now um, because of uh, I'm holding it up with a ratchet strap until I get the transmission in. So that's going to hold the back up and uh, line her up. So some reason when I cinched her down with the uh, ratchet strap, she, uh, she kind of moved to one side. So... Um, that and I don't have the bolts in the uh, the engine mounts quite yet just in case I need to quickly pull it back out but I think we're to the point where we're happy where everything is um, yeah so next step is bell housing so let me go grab that well guys we have the flywheel the pressure plate and uh, 
the clutch is in there too. Like <laughs> we're making great progress. The uh, the bell housing's in place. We just have to work on the transmission so we can get that in here. Once we have the transmission in, we'll be able to uh, you know get the the floor bolted up and the Z bar and everything like that in here. I will uh, I'll start doing updates every day that I work on the project. Uh, sorry for the lawnmower going in the background, but uh, yeah, guys, this is fantastic. I'm really excited about this progress. Uh, tomorrow, I will continue working on the getting the transmission ready. Uh, well, start getting the transmission ready, and we'll knock out the last part of the uh, passenger side exhaust, so that's taken care of. All I have to do is just make a little extension, like I was saying. A little extra horsepower if it's even really measurable, but uh, uh, also solves the problem. That's the big issue. Um, other than that, I think tomorrow I might start putting the engine back together so we can start it up. That'd be fantastic with the bell housing in place. It'd be really nice to uh, see if you know the teeth and everything are will mesh correctly with my uh, starter. Um, and if it does, we'll, we'll kick her on and uh, let her run for a hot minute. We have brake lines we still need to get in here. We need fuel lines in here. Um, master cylinder needs to be replaced. And uh, like the as for mentioned, uh, you know, pedal assembly and uh, the, the actual shifter. We'll, we'll hopefully come up with something with, for that fairly shortly. Um, but yeah, guys, this is fantastic. Oh man, I love it. Once we get the floor welded in here, we'll, uh, just oh we have some light you know we got to go through the lights and everything make sure they all work but uh we don't need them for drag racing so you know hey there's that but <laughs> oh all right uh that's 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 all i have for you guys today uh we'll start doing daily updates and um that way it really pushes me to do as much as i can every day so we have this cross the finish line um so until the next time, remember, keep your shiny side up and God bless.